Each time you run a command, bash searches each element of the path variable for a directory containing an executable file by that name. Bash uses a hash table to remember the full path names of executable files to avoid multiple path searches. A full search of the directories in the path variable is performed only if the command is not found in the hash table. This is how the bash hash table speeds up command execution. Let's look at how we can view, change, add and delete commands from the hash table. When you first open a shell, the hash table is empty. As you start to enter commands and work on the command line, bash starts populating the table. If you close the shell, the hash table is deleted and a new hash table is opened for each new shell. You can display the hash table for the current shell by invoking hash without any arguments. In this view the hash outputs the number of hits and the command with its path. The number of hits for each command is listed on the left side of each line. This is the number of times the hash table saved bash from searching all the directories in your path variable. You can use the minus L switch to display the hash table in an alternate format. You can print the hash table entry for a specific command by using the minus T switch followed by the name of the command. If you provide several names with the T option it will list the name of the command before each full path. Adding a command to the hash table is where this becomes interesting. You can add items to the hash table to be reused in the shell. It is important to reiterate that the hash table only exists in the current shell. If you open a new shell, bash creates a new hash table. In this manner, the hash table can be used as a temporary alias available to only the current shell instance. You can also use it to run commands that are outside of your current path as well as clearing the saved location, if a new executable with the same name is desired. You can manually add a command to the hash table using the minus P option followed by the path and then the name. In this example we add the hello-world.sh script located in the tmp directory to the hash table with the name hello. Now that the name hello is mapped to the slash tmp slash hello-world.sh script in the hash table, we can invoke it by name only. Bash checks the hash table for the name to find the executable. There is no need to put the script in your path, unless you want it to be available in all new shells. You can delete or forget a command and its path from the hash table by using the minus D option followed by the name. You can also clear the entire hash table by using the minus R option. The hash command is a bash built in command that can be used to manipulate the command hash table. In this article we discussed how the hash table speeds up command execution by limiting the need to search many directories in the path environmental variable. We also explored listing, adding and deleting commands from the hash table. The hash table is not something normally used in day-to-day -day operations. But, as a system administrator or DevOps engineer, it is important to have all the tools available in your toolbox. If you enjoyed this video tutorial please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, you can get a text version of this tutorial and many more by visiting www.putorius.net.